Hi everyone, uh, for this lesson uh, we're going to go through uh, three uh, very useful formulas for calculating angles and lengths of a common rafter uh, using a scientific calculator, your typical scientific calculator as displayed here. Uh, before you start using the scientific calculator though, you want to be sure of one thing, you want to make sure that um, you're in degree mode, which is shown up here. You can see it there, that's degree mode. Uh, make sure you're in that mode. Uh, if not, if you don't see the little D up here, just pop down here and keep pressing that button there and um, you'll eventually uh, display degree mode up on the screen right here. So once you're in degree mode, you can still start, you can now start to use the uh, formulas um, that, we, that we're going to go through. And by the way, for those formulas, we'll be using this button a lot and this button as well, cosine and 10. And we'll be able, uh, we're going to... Um, uh, take an example of where we need to find the rise uh, of a common rafter. So the givens or the knowns already would be the half span, which would be the run. So we'll take an example of a run being 3 meters and a pitch for this example being 30 degrees. So common rafter run 3 meters, pitch 30 degrees, what is the rise? Okay, so we're going to use the uh, formula to determine the rise in this case with the two givens of, which is the 30 degree pitch and a run of 3 meters in this case. So, what we will do is um, tap in uh, the run, which is uh, 3, multiplied by 10 of 30 degrees, and then hit equals. Now, whatever your answer is, hit shift, and then hit equals. And that there is the rise of your uh, roof. So uh, for our next example, uh, the two givens are the uh, rise and the run. And what we're after is the pitch. So the formula for this is the rise divided by the run. And whatever answer you get to that, you go shift 10 and don't forget to hit equals again. So we'll, 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 we'll use the same example as, um, as before. Um, we'll take the... Um, We'll take the rise as well. We'll just pick an example. We'll pick the rise as being 2. So, say for instance, if your rise is 2 and <clears throat> divided by well, an example with the run being 3 in this case, and uh, just um, hit equals, hit shift, hit 10, and don't forget hit equals again. And that is the pitch of your roof, uh, which is uh, 33.69 degrees. So for this uh, last example, we're going to get the true length uh, line distance of for a common rafter, which is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. And the formula of this is run divided by the cost of the pitch, and you hit equals, and that will be the true length line for your rafter line. So in this example, uh, we'll just take an example of a run being 3. So you've hit in 3, uh, hit divide, hit the cost button, and whatever the pitch of the roof, type it in. In this case, we'll just go 30 and hit equals. And uh, if that come, if uh, an answer like that comes up, just hit the SD button or the shift button. So hit, hit the SD button. And there is the actual um, answer, a decimal version of the answer you got. So um, the true length line or the hypotenuse line of that right angle triangle or the rafter line is 3.464 uh, meters if you're, if you're dealing in meters. Okay, here's some uh, uh, interesting... Um, Footnote in regards to the three roofing calculations or three trigonomic formulas we previously discussed in this video. Uh, if you want to test yourself against uh, one particular right angle triangle, actually the best one to test yourself always against is actually a right angle 30 degree right angle triangle, uh, whose relationship between the three sides is always as follows. So with a, with a 30 degree right angle triangle, here's your typical 30 degree, it's right angled. It's 30 degrees. And um, the relationship between the three sides is as follows. Um, between the shortest and the longest is always 2 to 1. So if this is 1, we'll take this as being 1, this will be 2. So if that's 1 meter, this is going to be always 2 meters. Only for a 30 degree right angle triangle. And this will always be 1.732 times, basically, uh, in relationship to the other two sides. So obviously it's... Um, it's in between the larger and the smaller. And common sense will tell you that it have to be in between the largest and the smallest uh, size. So that relationship will always stick. So that's what trigonometry is based on. So if you want to um, 
to use the formula for getting the rise, for instance, and this in this case the rise would be 1 here. Well, we'll just pretend we don't know what the rise is. Use the formula that was discussed in this video and see if you come up with this answer, you know. Um, and for the other formula, pretend you don't know the pitch. So we'll pretend we don't know the pitch and we'll pretend the two givens is the rise and the run. Yeah. So you put in the rise as, as so, 1 and uh, divided by 1.73 to 1 and uh, continue with the formula and you should get an answer 30 degrees. And using the cost formula, which was the last one discussed, uh, the two givens will be the, the run and the pitch. So you pretend you don't know this, this one here. So you tap in uh, 1.732 uh, divided by cost 30 degrees, hit equals, and if you get a 2, then your answer, you, you apply the formula correctly. Uh, on your mobile phones, uh, you can also get the scientific uh, calculator version on your mobile phone. Sometimes you have to put in the formulas not exactly as they're written, so you might have to experiment a, a small bit. But if you are using the one on your phone, which is very handy because you'll always have your phone with you, and then try the three examples we've just discussed using this particular example of a right angle triangle. Okay, hopefully that's of use. Alright, bye.